not not made in Norway. No, this is made in Germany. Germ ah, made yeah. in Germany. And this uh, made in Austria, United Kingdom, it's Belgium. And, uh, Good morning internet, it is 8 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another breakfast in Bode, here in northern Norway. And the plan for today is to ride to this place here, which is 400 something kilometers, 430 I think. And I decided that when I reach here, I don't know if you can see it, if I reach here it should be pretty much far enough south to start camping again without freezing in my tent. <laughs> so uh, my plan is to uh, go camping uh, again tonight, find a nice spot there and then uh, set up a tent again. It's been quite a while. So uh, let's see how that will go. Okay. Light off. So about my chain and sprockets actually. So I went to a bike shop yesterday called uh, Arctic Motors. Here. Anyway, so I went to the bike shop yesterday. Oh, another obstacle. Well, I didn't even bring my camera because I was like, there's no way they're gonna have these parts in stock. So I was already preparing myself to be stuck in this town for uh, at least a couple of days. So I arrive in this shop and uh, the guy looks it up in the system and he's like, you are very, very, very lucky because normally we never have these parts in stock, but we have one set. And I was like, I cannot believe it. So I left the Ronin in there and they just uh, changed uh, the whole set. Picked her up in the afternoon and then when I came to pick her up and I wanted to pay, they said, uh, because I told them a little bit about the journey and then they were like, uh, yeah, you get it from us and uh, we like to sponsor you a little bit, uh, part of the journey. So I was just like, wow, this is <laughs> really, really awesome. So thanks again, Arctic Motors, um, really, really appreciate it. So yeah, now I'm already ready to go again. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. As you can see, we got a bit of a situation of a dubious weather, look. So I better um, put my rain gear on because I have this feeling that we're gonna get some more rain today. But all is good, Ronin has a new uh, chain of sprockets, which was very necessary. <laughs> uh, it was really, really worn. So um, time to change that. Anyway, yeah, let's go. Okay. You know what I just realized? I did groceries yesterday and I bought uh, food for tonight and I left it here in the fridge in my room. <laughs> But I already dropped the key in that slot and they don't have reception. <laughs> so I couldn't go back into the room to fetch the food. I'm so sad. Now I have to buy new food for tonight. Dinner, cooking when camping. Ah oh well, it happens. But yeah. And I was already thinking twice, I should not forget the food in the fridge classic oh you know I'm actually going to pass that uh, bike shop where they gave uh, Ronin the royal treatment yesterday they're not open yet they only open at 10 o'clock give them a little wave Thanks guys, Arctic Motor, you're the best. <laughs> oh, I do see some dramatic mountains there. So I guess it's fair to say there are two routes you can take down south from here. And the one route goes via the fjords, which is kind of the scenic route. But you have to take, I don't know, five or six ferries. Uh, because the road is not continuous and yeah, that's just going to take so long 
that it will take me two days probably. And to be fair, it's just I find it a bit exhausting. That it's just getting on the ferry, getting off, getting on, getting off. So I decided to just take the the road route. Which I'm sure is also going to be beautiful because so far in Norway it's just beautiful everywhere. So I think it should be okay. And that's 440 kilometers. So let's see. Circle Center but as we all know the Arctic Circle is moving constantly north or at least for the next 10,000 years then it's gonna start moving back south so yeah this place kind of gives the impression that this is where the Arctic Circle is but it is not well unless they build it today but they didn't <laughs> Let's have a look and warm up inside a bit because it is uh, pretty cold up here. Let's have a look. Norwegian waffles and they also do a lot of reindeer food, reindeer burger, reindeer wrap, reindeer stew. Actually, I haven't seen reindeer for quite some time anymore. Look how massive that is. see any of these animals only reindeer so when in Rome or in Norway in this case do as the locals do have some Norwegian waffles and a coffee anyway so apparently this center was built in 1990 so that is 30 years ago uh, and then when it was built the Arctic Circle was exactly in this spot but as we know it is now almost 450 meters more north from here but hey details details let's just uh, uh, warm up a little bit because it is again a very cold day today. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> All right, hot coffee helped to normalize my body temperature. <laughs> oh, it's still raining. But uh, yeah, let's see. Hopefully it will improve later on. It's still a long way to go. I didn't really cover so much distance, I think. Or yeah, I actually don't know. Maybe it's like 300 kilometers to go or something. Probably 300. So... <gasps> Let's do it! Goodbye Arctic Circle Center, not on the Arctic Circle. <laughs> Just checked and yes, 295 kilometers to where I'm hoping to pitch a tent. Because I've really set my uh, 
eye on camping for tonight. Of course, I also need to stop again at the supermarket somewhere to buy new food. Since I left that in my fridge. I just spotted a motorcycle museum. <laughs> See? MC Museum. And well, since the weather is not very good, I thought maybe today is the day to check out a motorcycle museum. Ah, uh, here. Arctic Circle Motorcycle Museum. Oh, it's open. It's open. Like to see the museum? Yes. Have you um, have you cash? I have card only. Uh, the Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah. Goeiedag. Goeiedag. <laughs> Very good. I work with uh, with the uh, Netherlands Netherlands people. Oh yeah. Goeiemorgen. Goeiemorgen. <laughs> Where do you work with them then? Here. In in Moeilijk. But you run this museum. Yeah, M M museum is my son's. Ah, it's your son's. Oh, my son's museum. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you can take pictures. Okay, great. Thanks. So they have lots of stuff, not just motorbikes. Not too sure why there are also all sorts of kind of body parts laying around. <laughs> why why are there uh, arms and legs? It's, uh, it's, um, this place is uh, it's, uh, this bike is the uh, same bike from this used to this and and the soldier. Ah, he was. Man, 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 uh, man, uh, today and uh, this week. Uh, no, it's good. You're doing well. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> bike is go here, here, this place, in in the movie from the Second War. Okay. This this week. Ah. This week. Yeah. So this is this is uh, bike is out. This is soldiers out. Ah, uh, they're shooting a movie. Yeah, a movie. This week. Yeah, this week. Oh, yeah. so yes. you lend it to. Ah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry for this. That's a fair, um, yeah. Um, uh, but so this bike is from 19. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Thank it's you. From ah, this is from the battle in Narvik. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. I posted. I post some sign saying battle of Narvik, but I had yeah. no idea. Yeah. But you, come, you come from Narvik. Uh, I'm coming south now. Come south. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. But it says here in. Narvik Hitler lose for the first time, and this bike was there. I know, not not this bike. They, this bike. Ah, that. So Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. The other bike is in yes. the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the same to this, uh, I think. Okay. This is even older, I think. This is uh, from the from the, this area. This and. Uh, 
from? From this area. Area. Yeah. Ah, okay. And they also you can also collect uh, chainsaws. Yes, <laughs> chains from Norway. Ah, yeah, yeah. Made in Norway. Made in Norway. Everything here is all made in Norway. No, not made in Norway. No, this is made in Germany. Germ ah, made in yeah. Germany. And this uh, made in Austria, United Kingdom, it's Belgium. And, uh, so which which is the oldest bike you have? Oldest bike in this. Is that one? Yes. Ah, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> North Norway is the oldest bike. Okay. Yeah. Does it still run? Um, yeah. Not, uh, not immediately. Not complete. Not complete. Many years ago, it's uh, yeah. uh, parts and the not this and this. Uh, but it looks still really good. Yes. 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 Oh. Wow. Oh, owners manuals. This is made in Norway. That one. Yeah, this is made in Norway. And, and this. This one. Oh, then the blue. This. Oh, those are. This one is made in Norway too. Made in Norway. And this one? This is old. Also made in Norway. Made in Norway. 1936. Yeah. But it's similar to. That type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's little bicycles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. Are you Nora Lee? Yes. I follow you on uh, YouTube. Ah. May I have a picture? <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Good time in Norway. Thank you. Very nice. We exchanged stickers, so I gave a itchy boot stickers, and now I got this. Motorcycle Arctic Circle sticker. Cool, right? And I also got the recognized that uh, tends to happen more and more often. Well, actually, almost every day on this trip that I'm being recognized somewhere. Um, anyway, now let's get back to it. Because <laughs> I still have 250 kilometers to ride today. So <sighs> let's do it. With red light, stop here, I think. <laughs> Norwegian really is sometimes very similar to Dutch, so you can kind of guess what it says. Okay, so I just uh, filled up on uh, petrol here. And, uh, well, so my idea was to go wild camping tonight. <laughs> but uh, I've been riding in the rain the entire day. Um, I'm really cold, of course all my bags, my rain gear is wet from the outside, it looks like there's a lot more rain coming and I'll probably would have to pack a wet tent tomorrow morning. I know that it is uh, extremely uh, romantic to uh, go wild camping on a motorcycle trip but uh, reality is just not very glamorous when you've just been riding in the rain the whole day and camping in the rain and <laughs> everything wet damp and cold um, yeah that's just miserable and I am not going to do that to myself so um, I just uh, one kilometer back I passed uh, a camping but I saw they also have uh, cabins so I'm going to see if they, uh, if I can uh, take one of the cabins for tonight and just uh, dry up a bit, <laughs> warm up and uh, yeah, have a good sleep in a nice bed. <laughs> That's the plan. So let's see if they have an opening. This is the place, see these cabins, you can see there's, 
There are no other tents as well. Nobody is camping. Totally understand it. Oh, let's see if there's somebody here. If there is nobody here. Asylum. <laughs> I need to call for asylum. Good afternoon. Uh, do you speak English? Uh, yes, a little. <laughs> okay, I just uh, arrived at the, the camping and I was wondering if I could stay in one of the cabins. Yeah, I am coming in two minutes. Okay, yeah, sure, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Bye. It's cold. <laughs> it is cold, yeah. yes. <laughs> just had to prepare the cabin I think she said oh. Oh. I have my own picnic table okay <laughs> thank you Thank you! <laughs> oh, this is so cute! Oh, this is lovely, lovely, lovely. So, welcome to my little cabin. I don't know, the way it looks now and giving the weather forecast and well, a few other factors that have to do with my planning which I will tell you later on uh, in a couple of episodes, I think. Um, but all of those combined mean that I am going to try to make my way down through Norway to the south relatively quickly, I think. And yeah, I guess I have to come back to the south of Norway another time, <laughs> maybe earlier in summer um, when the weather is a bit better and when it's a little bit warmer, uh, then it's definitely a place to go. Then you can also explore more up high up in the mountains. I mean, there's already snow there, so that's not really uh, yeah possible at the moment either. So, but okay, uh, let's see. We don't know what's going to happen, but I have a feeling that that's going to be like the next couple of episodes here in Norway, just making my way down south relatively quickly. For now, I am going to uh, settle down here a little bit, uh, warm up, cook some dinner, uh, and then uh, that's it. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.